I believe this is the very time that I need to walk you through all the control settings and some other important things under the options category as well. My name is Kivox. Please subscribe, thumbs up and comment below what you think about it and consider joining the channel as a member to get all the beautiful perks. Join the Discord as well. So if you are ready, let's just straight go into the video. I have made actually a couple of videos before about the display settings and how to enhance it on any platform consoles, Nintendo Switch or PC. Thanks for watching. I can say that the videos got a lot of views and I hope that it was very helpful for you. So I'm doing this for the control settings now. So if we go into the options, the first mention ever without talking about any sensitivity or the customized control buttons etc i would like to go down and then tell you something straight away in the rail jack section it says pilot centered crosshair and on the description when set look input only turns the rail jack and doesn't affect your crosshair you do not want this in the default it is on so you need to turn it off and basically when it turns off as you can see on the screen when it turns off you can actually have very very power on the crosshair and the aiming while driving the rail jet. it will let you to aim properly when you are fighting against the enemies etc in the space and if you turn this on basically you will only be able to move the whole rail jack it will gonna reduce your aiming too big and it will definitely going to nerf you if you use it that way so so for that reason we just turn off pilot centered crosshair and we move on to the other ones. I'm on the PS5 and on the customized controls I literally love how it is. I don't change anything. This all of them ability menu, general lunar placement, frame fighter, railjack, shazin, all of them is the default. I'm using it. And the remote play is also on the default, but I don't remote play. I just play on the PS5. You can use inverts, but it is especially for the railjack people, by the way. You can see right here, you can also just invert the railjack too. But this one is going to invert the controls on anything, basically. And I just don't use them. Like, I don't want to use them in general. The look sensitivity is 50, aim is 40, aim sensitivity while scoped is 20. So what it means is that the look sensitivity is 50 like this and this is quite fast. Quite fast, not that fast, but it is still quite fast. Aim sensitivity is also 40. So this is very much enough for me when I play with the weapon and through the scope, I guess I cannot show it exactly, but yeah, I, I think this is considered as a scope too. So this is 20 because it doesn't have to be so fast because I'm when I, when I do idle on hunts and stuff when I'm hitting some things. I don't exactly need a too fast scope with the sniper rifles, Lanka or Rubico or something like that. So those sensitivity settings are fitting to me very well. And the vibration is off as well because yeah, on the PS5 it just imagine that you are using Ignis Red the whole time and it just never stopped vibrating. Also enable controller trigger effect function is off too. But at this point this this option is actually doesn't matter because the vibration is completely turned off and invert top and hold abilities you can just top and hold those things or just use the default I'm using very much default on the you can see it in here it is on the standard I don't change any top and hold once for any specific warframe I just keep it on the original auto swap weapon on empty it could be sometimes useful but I prefer to not to use it if your main weapon uh, run out of ammo and you try to fire the weapon it will straight go into the secondary and I prefer not to do it because if my main weapon run out of ammo I just go and get ammo or ju I just drop the ammo pieces on the ground and I just get it that way because I want to use my main weapon reload with context action input I don't exactly know what this is I believe that this is just a square button 
button on the console like it is just let's let me show you in here context section this is just square it is just straight the button that you do interact with the things around the map so we just reload with the context section and melee with fire weapon input it is off you can do it if you want basically what it does on the console if you press circle or any specific button on any other platform where you press to use the melee weapon you can change it to fire weapon input what that means on the console again after i get my melee weapon on my hand either by holding triangle button or by just pressing circle button just once and i can keep attacking with r2 afterwards but i don't like it so the next one is the melee auto target i don't need to auto target exactly it sometimes turns to left and right for no reason and you know like when i need to wipe the corridor and the enemy is on my left it, the camera turns on the left so it is not really making sense it is just a kind of you know like Elden ring you can press the right analog stick to aim and this is what it does and it is nerfing you basically camera tracks melee target doesn't have to be on as well I don't need to target the Bella target the guy if auto targeting is on so it is also turned off and align attacks to camera so it is uh, if you are attacking to the guy it will try to make the enemy in the middle of the screen and it will basically try to align the camera according to the target that you are attacking and the crouch button is toggle you don't need to have it on because i'm sliding and sometimes crouching actually and it is just off and if i wanna crouch i just press and hold the button l1 button and this is it it doesn't have to be toggled because if you toggle on you may do some mistakes and you literally need to press one more to go back to the state where you were double jump executes void sling so it is off right now if i go to my operator i exactly cannot double jump i mean i just press the x and it jumps once but if i do l1 and the uh, x i just void sling or if i press and hold blah blah this is the old way of doing the void sling i just do it that way but if you want to use the double jump you just straight press and hold twice to the jump button and this is gonna be void sling so you can just do the short version or you can do press and hold and go farther away but it doesn't exactly have to be activated i just don't use it i like the way it was i'm glad that digital extremes actually gave us the choice to turn it on and off so it is just off control the trigger effect function is off so we don't need to talk about it and the controller dead zones if you have no trouble with your controller analog sticks like drifting or something like that don't play with that leave the dead zones the threshold right stick dead zone dead zone threshold r2 thresholds as well just leave it as they are and leave off the legacy aim dead zone 2 don't just mess with those but if your controller analog sticks are drifting let's say your right analog stick is drifting you can reduce it to fix your drift actually so let's say it like your right analog stick goes left like this okay and if i actually wait let me see if i actually improve it i guess yeah exactly if i Im uh, improve it go beyond the 20 and go up it is gonna not gonna drift actually basically this is not gonna drift if i increase the number this is how it works if your one of the sticks are drifting just increase the number until it doesn't drift and you are very much good to go with that in the art wing i also don't use the invert option and the sensitivities are 30 and it could be 35 and 40 as well and let's do it that way actually like this and 20 so the look sensitivity 50 aim 40 scope 20 it is exactly the same way like in the normal uh, controlling the warframe and it is just the same thing where you can use the sensitivity like that but just try to do those sensitivities around 50 40 50 the default one is quite slow like it is literally slow and another thing is that if you are actually on the pc you can you have 
a lot way more better control on the sensitivity and it is not gonna be a problem for you as well there's another thing that i would like to just say it as a side note that you can connect keyboard and mouse to your playstation or xbox and you can actually use keyboard and mouse the game and console itself has full support for the keyboard and mouse in warframe you don't need any specific keyboard or mouse or something like that just to play with keyboard and mouse set you can just literally put plug in five dollar keyboard and mouse and just straight play the warframe easily so it will work on the rail check i also don't use inverting because of that pilot centered crosshair which i love it so much and i just don't mess with that and the sensitivities for the rail check feels like quite fine for me because the enemies are not running around so fast and the sensitivity is just fine all of them like literally the decoration placement camera movement orbiter dojo push pull speed it is completely up to you it is like on default right now i don't mess with those and as an extra the video is around 10 15 minutes by now but as an extra i just walk you through i just want to walk you through the other ones too the gore is on on me and the legacy color palette is off if you know why i'm on the NA okay if you watched my other videos I, I guess if I'm not wrong I did mention the legacy color palette but I may be wrong I'm not using the legacy color palette so in the display settings basically I did show them before so it doesn't use legacy color palettes region Europe matchmaking 300 blah blah and cross-platform play is on I'm glad they made this this is just straight awesome by the way in the social friend request notifications are on and everything is on the all creator mode is off you may think what is the creator mode very simple example of this if you progress a lot on the quest line of warframe your lotus will turn into something robotic that or this tries to still give you the lotus but in a digital version of it so if you turn the creator mode on or lotus goes back to normal state so there's no spoiler about it this is your ignore list and all all the chats are on and the active tab notification only is off because you will not get any notification if you turn this on except the chat that you are hovering chat notifications you can mute or something profanity filter you can turn this off because why not you can curse everywhere now chat notification volume is on the maximum small chat text size show emojis as text is off smile conversation it will just uh, turn the things into the emojis blah blah and it is on as well in the interface oh, oh okay yeah this is just a team that i'm running on the background i guess you can pick anything that you like on the ui team you can pay some flat and get the thing that you like Tenno guide is on numeric separator is the comma and then a period autofocus text field is all ui sensitivity is 100 you can increase it acceleration is zero i don't want that thing to go faster after moving a second or two i just don't like acceleration Magnetism is 100% as well. Show head over display is on. Adjust head over display margin. It is like this. The scale is 75. Damage numbers are on. Affinity numbers are on. Player list are on. Show teammate glyphs instead of icons. You can do whichever you like. It is off on me. Teammate names are on. Show ability dots on. Reticle is on. Ability banner on cast is on. Enemy names on. Health over enemies are also on. It is very useful. Sniper scopes are on on because why not you can use the scope and this is very good map rotation is off i want the map to rotate it actually some people don't like rotation but i just like the rotating map the pet is marked on your ui you can see where your pet is it is on prefer overlay map is off if you want the overlay map you can just press the key and make the map bigger in the game as you can see it that way anyways you don't need that to be turned on landscape overlay map fade is 43 it is default i just keep it as it is it is just straight fine and the video i will just quickly come into this but i will not stay on that display setting so much if you want highly detailed guide about this you can watch either video on the screen i will drop the links down below i have two versions of it one of them is updated for 2023 and the other one i just made it back in the day both of them works quite well or you can just check and watch the both of the videos as well brightness 50 contrast 50 field of view 90 so i can see my character gpu particle 
quality is ludicrous. You can get this only on the new generation consoles, PS5, Xbox Series X, and probably S as well. And this option doesn't exist in PS4, Xbox One, or something like that. And probably it exists on the PC, by the way. Ambient occlusion is on, motion blur is on. You can turn this off. It will improve the graphic, basically, when you do it that way. But it may cause some screen tearing too. So for that reason, it was on for quite some time that I was testing out how it goes. So if you turn this on, the most the problem that a lot of people complaining about, which is the screen tearing, disappears if you use the motion blur. But yeah, you can turn this off and get better graphics in cost of the screen tearing. Depth of field is off. Distortions are off. We don't need those glare, flame grain, bloom. Literally, we don't need all of them. It just destroys the quality of the game. Weapon effects are on. Color correction is of course on. Character shadows are also on. Dynamic resolution is the user and the resolution scale is 100% so that way you can get actually 4K60 in HDR quality and it will not drop down the re re resolution of the graphics. On the sound everything 100. Transmission through controller is off. I don't need this but you can turn it on too. Or this Nora self the court volume, Ally the court volume, self shavzin volume is 100, reverb quality is on, hint transmissions are on, hit marker sound of course you wanna hear the sounds when you hit some headshot or something like that, radio chatter like the Grenier or Nora Knight speaks blah blah and you can hear them in your orbiter and enable operator voice is also on and the voice this is the game in the in-game voice you can turn it on or off it is off the most of the time because I'm doing videos blah 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 and sometimes people talks in the game and yeah this is off and accessibility hold to sprint is off hold to aim weapon is on i guess those are the ones that is actually uh default by the way so hold to aim weapon is on repeated button presses are just you just need to tap no need to hold i guess yeah tap and hold just tap aim assist is on colorblind none unless you are colorblind and there is a uh, good things that you can actually use whichever that fits for yourself and you can use the strength and the visual effects intensity is 100 on the default reduce teammate visual effects are off but you can reduce it if you want screen shake is off or you can do it on but it is going to just shake 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 especially on some skills customize head over display colors if you want you can just mess around with all the colors literally you can see like you can actually pick from your palettes as well and do as you like but I'm not gonna mess with those I just leave them as they are the subtitles are on and the head over display motion is on because when you move or something like that or when you run or when you fly with Darkwing the head over display is actually have a cool animation effect that I like according to your speed imagine that you are running with the vault in the speed of light and head over display is just gonna distort distort and gives the feeling that you are actually going so fast so those are the settings i hope you enjoyed this video give thumbs up subscribe and comment below what you think about it and share your own settings with me and with the community as well and fix me if i'm wrong at some point please do it it will improve the quality of the videos that i do in the future and as i said check the description down below to see the proper display settings and some other good warframe info content as well and you can see the Warframe playlist on the top right corner of the screen through the YouTube cards and on the description as well. So see you all in the next video. Take care of yourself guys. Have fun. Bye bye.